Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Families have a lot going on. Let Ollie help manage the mental load with new cognitive help supplements for everyone four and up, like delicious Lolly Focus Pops or Lolly Mellow Pops for kids. And for parents, try three new Brainy Chews to help you focus, chill out, or get energized. Find these cognitive health buddies for the whole fam at ollie.com. That's O L L Y.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. This is my weekly meal plan episode. Um, if you're new here, this is a quick episode that I do every Wednesday where I share my family's meal plan for the upcoming week. The idea is to hopefully maybe give you some ideas for things you might like to make or just kind of give you some motivation to put your meal plan together. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, June 1st. For Saturday, I'm going to be cooking on the grill. Um, We're going to make broths, um, some grilled chicken thighs, and then I'm going to make a five-ingredient simple green pasta salad. This is a... um, It's a pasta salad that has green beans in it, shredded spinach, and pesto and Parmesan cheese. And then it has uh, some lemon juice, olive oil, and vinegar. I really like that salad. It goes great with summer-type foods. Um, For the grilled chicken thighs, I like to just uh, brush them with some barbecue sauce and throw them on the grill. They cook pretty uh, quickly and easily. I do the boneless ones. Um, The ones with the bone definitely take a lot longer. But the boneless thighs... Um, cook really pretty quick. For June 2nd, for Sunday, we're going to be doing um, homemade chicken franchise, which is from dinner at the zoo.com. This is just kind of your typical chicken franchise uh, recipe. You take boneless chicken breast, you dip it in flour and then egg, and then you, um, or did I say that backwards? Yeah, I think it's the flour first and then the egg. And then you saute it up in a frying pan with butter and olive oil. Um, and then you make like a lemon type sauce to go over it. Um, and then I'll be serving that that with some linguine. For Monday, I'm going to be doing a uh, cob salad. I don't have a recipe to share for this, but what I do is just put out um, all the ingredients so that people can make their own salad. Um, so I'll put out some romaine lettuce, some grilled chicken, um, some cooked bacon, avocado, um, chopped up hard boiled eggs, croutons, and salad dressing. Uh, last time I made this, it was nice because I was working from home. And I got the bacon cooked ahead of time. I did that on my lunch break. The hard-boiled eggs I had made the previous day, so I just got those chopped up. So when it was time for dinner, I just had to put out the lettuce, the avocado, croutons, all that. And then I just grilled up the chicken real quick, and then we made salads. And it was really nice um, summer-type meal because I just threw the chicken on the grill real quick. And that was super easy. Um, For Tuesday, we are doing um, sheet pan chicken fajitas. This recipe is from foodnetwork.com. This is just your typical um, chicken fajita recipe where you take uh, some chicken breast, some peppers, onions, and some seasoning, and you throw it on a pan, cook it in the oven. We'll be serving that with some flour tortillas, and then I also usually make some white rice because some of us like to make a bowl instead of putting it on the tortilla. Um, so that is for Tuesday. For Wednesday, we are doing creamy Tuscan salmon shrimp pasta. This is from Simply deliciousfood.com. This is one of my favorite seafood recipes. It's super quick and easy to make, and it tastes really delicious. Um, You cook up some salmon, then you cook up some shrimp, and then you make a little, like, creamy sauce to go over it that has um, spinach, um, sun-dried tomatoes, cream, lemon juice, and um, some Parmesan cheese, and then I mix in pasta with that. Uh, It calls for serving it over top of the pasta, but I like to mix mix the pasta in and kind of break up the salmon to make it more just like a a pasta dish, like a one um, pan dish where you just kind of serve it all together as one. For Thursday, I'm doing a rotisserie chicken, but I don't know what I'm making on the side yet. I'm trying to find something that Costco carries that I can just serve with the rotisserie chicken that's not going to take like a ton of time to cook in the oven. We might even wind up just doing sandwiches with the the rotisserie chicken um, because 
every once in a while I decided that because I do um, some of my um, grocery orders I do all online grocery orders but I've started to order some things from Costco and have those delivered while I'm out picking up the other groceries so I was thinking it might be nice for a quick meal occasionally um, to just have them bring one of the rotisserie chickens with that delivery and then that way the night that I go grocery shopping I don't actually even have to cook we could just have the rotisserie chicken for dinner that night but yeah I haven't decided yet if we're just going to do like sandwiches with that or if I want to try and find some kind of um, side I was thinking maybe even if I just get like a, one of those like bagged salads and kind of do that with the rotisserie chicken that might be good so I have to figure that out still um, so Friday, this is the last day of the meal plan. So this Friday, I'm going to be doing um, cast iron ribeye rib steak. This is from feelgoodfoodie.net, although I may wind up probably just throwing it on the grill because when the weather's nice, it's so much quicker and easier to just throw um, the steak on the grill. So I just seasoned my steak. I just marinated my steak with um, Montreal steak seasoning and some red wine vinegar and some olive oil. Um, but I do use this method described in this recipe for cooking it in a cast iron skillet if I'm not cooking it on the grill and I've been having it um, come out really good like that and then as a side I'm going to be making Sarah's rice pilaf which is from allrecipes.com if you've never made rice pilaf before I think this is a really easy recipe to follow it comes out really good and then I'm just going to do some frozen vegetables on the side to go with that so that's it for this week's meal plan I totally forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode that you can find um, this entire meal plan along with links to any of the recipes that I mentioned on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. The blog post comes out every week um, the same day as the episode and all the uh, previous week's uh, posts are there also. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode and don't forget you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lola's Frugal Life. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see you're listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast, so that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have an awesome day.